How are you doing? This is Mary Burris of Flowering Cactus and Rethink Fitness. And today I am continuing my series of free yoga practices that I'm posting on the Work FM Facebook page and on my own Facebook page so that you can start a yoga practice from a chair beginner level and advance. You'll have practices to advance all the way through. So today is an advanced beginner practice. So let's go ahead and start with the sun salutation. And these practices just get a little more gradually, you know, more uh, higher level. So there you are. So we come to the top of the mat, place the blocks like so, because we will be using the blocks today. And find your Tadasana. So if you've been following along, you should know what Tadasana is by now. Or, um, you know, if you're a more advanced practitioner, you know what to do. So, find that alignment. Inhale, the arms sweep out. Up, little back bend. Exhale, swan dive forward with the heart leading and forward fold. And we're just going to stay in the forward fold for a moment. I invite you to, and I'm just going to turn so you can see better, to... Take the elbows in the hands and let your head just completely relax and just let all of the tension go from your hips to your head and just be loose like a rag doll. And this helps to um, expand the lower back and also the hamstrings. You might be feeling that there. Okay, while you're hanging, I'm going to get back into my position here. Okay, release the arms. Inhale, come halfway. The back should be nice and flat with the head leading forward and the tailbone tucked and leading back. Exhale, find the blocks with your hand. Today, we'll step the right foot back first. And I'm just moving the block so you can see the alignment. You want this ankle and knee to be lined up. So, the weight goes in the hands of the blocks, and we inhale, and then exhale, relax that hip flexor. Oh, and if you've been sitting today, this probably feels amazing. So, breathing here. Big, full breaths way down into the lower back. This is my new space, by the way. Hope you like it, my new studio space. One more big breath. Make sure you're up out of the shoulders and exhale, bring the blocks with you. So we did this in the previous uh, video. So you know the tailbone needs to swoosh up. The, the back is arched this way. The shoulders are back and down. The toes are up. Breathe, you're gonna feel a lovely stretch in the back of the leg. And then inhale, come forward, and um, the hands come down. I'm just going to move the block so you can see what's going on. Hands come down on the mat, step this foot back, the knees come down. Remember, we're still in the beginner phase. Elbows hug in, and you come down, press the heart through, and come into cobra. So the tops of the feet are on the floor and the um, shoulders are back, and you should be able to lift your hands up off the floor in this pose. Exhale, turn the toes under. Come into an upside down V. Make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide. Exhale, it's the first down dog of the day. So we're gonna walk the dog. And that means letting alternate heels come down, alternate letting your heels alternate down is what I mean to say. And make sure when you send your heel down, it's on an exhalation so that the muscles can relax. So we inhale up on the toes, exhale as the heel ooh, comes down, that feels so good. And then both heels come down, we look between the hands and walk the feet up to the hands, breathe in, halfway, exhale, forward fold, inhale, 
all the way up, reach up, and then a little back bend. Exhale, the palms come to the heart. Now I'm going to just turn my mat. We'll have another sun salutation, but this time I'm going to face you so you can see what it looks like from the front. And you can have a little rest. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, locks in place. Oops. I like my mat to be straight. Okay, locks in place. Here we go. Find Tadasana. Inhale here. Exhale, palms come to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift up, little back bend. Exhale, leading with the heart, coming down, the arms go to the side. Little forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, the gaze is down. Exhale, this time we'll step the left leg way back and line up, make sure that's lined up. Inhale, the weight's in the hands, shoulders are down. Exhale. Did you see how I sank down into that hip flexor? That's what we're going for. So, oops, I need to move my ankle. <clears throat> Breathe in here. Just letting that hip flexor relax. Your arms are doing the heavy lifting here so that the hip flexor can have a nice stretch without straining. And big inhale, I'm bringing the blocks back with me. The toe comes up and the heart is open. Notice I'm not hunched down. The heart is nice and open, breathing and enjoying the lengthening of the back of the leg here. Again, a lot of the weight is in the hands. Blocks are super helpful particularly at the beginner and intermediate levels. They're helpful always, but... Okay, inhale, hands come to the floor. This leg comes back on the knees here in a, in a knee plank. Exhale, see how my elbows are hugged in? And then inhale, my feet come down. Here is the cobra from the front. Exhale, forehead comes down, and this time we're going directly into the downward facing dog. Notice my fingers are spread nice and wide, my feet are hips distance apart, the hips are tucked. Most people think they go out, that's not right. They get tucked so that the belly button is coming towards the ribs and the shoulders come up, my shoulders were here, they come away from the ears. Breathe in here. That's two. One more breath, big breath. Okay, gaze goes between the hands. We walk the feet here. Breathe in to come halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Now I'm going to turn the other way. So. Stand, you can just stand in Tadasana, and that'll be awesome. Because this time, I'm going to send both feet back. And I want you to be able to see it. So, finding Tadasana again. And this time, the blocks can just go to the side. You're not going to use them. So, finding Tadasana. Big inhale here. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back bend. And exhaling forward. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Should be an inhale on the back, back bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale. Now both feet are coming down. My fingers are spread nice and wide. The knees come down. And Chaturanga Dandasana, and here we go into the Cobra. Again, 
And this time, if you can keep your shoulders down, you can rise up a little bit in the cobra. Now, a big mistake that I see is people do this. No, that's too much on the lower back. Don't do that. You're <laughs> keeping this nice swoosh look with your body. Exhale, coming down. Inhale. We come to an inverted V. We don't move the hands or the feet, except to bring them towards each other, meaning your foot towards your other foot. And then exhale, lower the heels down. Now here's a common mistake. Most people do this. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's not good. We're trying to lengthen the spine, so you need to tuck the hips to lengthen the spine. Bring the belly button towards the heart. Should have a nice flat back here. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Gaze goes between the hands and walk the feet. Breathe in, come halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, palms to the heart. So we're going to have just a basic Ashtanga-based uh, advanced um, beginner practice today. So we started working on, uh, last week we did a warrior pose and we also did a tree pose. So we're going to take the tree pose to the next level. So the heel comes onto the floor, spread the toes nice and wide, plant the foot down, and then we'll bring your other toes here. Fine, engage the root lock. So if you're a man, it's the lower abdominals. Women, it's the muscles between the pubic bone and the tailbone. Make sure your shoulders are back and down. Find a spot about four feet in front of you for your gaze. And then the palms come to the heart. So the more you press your palms together, the more you're going to activate your lats, which will help with balance. So if you're feeling comfortable here, you've been practicing this enough, you can move your foot up to your calf. So nice and steady at the calf. You can bring the hands up. So at the beginner level, we continue with the arms parallel and the palms facing each other. Three, two, and one. Exhale, the palms come to the heart, release the leg that's up, and slowly bring it down. Okay, shake that out. Other side. The heel comes down, spread the toes, plant the foot. We do all of those same things. We start here. And then if you're comfortable, nice and steady, you can bring your foot here. Now, your le my leg is pressing into my foot, and my foot is pressing into my leg. So you would stay in these poses for five breaths, but I'm talking some, so that's why I'm counting like three and two breaths. So two more breaths. That's two. And one more. One, big inhale. Exhale, the palms come to the heart. The leg comes forward and slowly bring it down. Nice. Okay, shake it out. So, today we're going to repeat that warrior one, but then we're going to go into a warrior two pose. So, I'm going to demonstrate the warrior one from the side. So, find Tadasana. Breathe in, the arms come up, palms facing each other. I'm going to step my right foot back. My right foot's at a 45 degree angle. My left toes are still facing forward. The hips, you want to adjust the hips so that the left hip 
comes back and the right hip comes forward so that they're like headlights driving down the road if you're yoga mountain to road. The hips are tucked here, the shoulders and the hips are aligned, and then we bend the front leg. Now, you can see that my, my knee is a little further than my ankle, so I'm just going to adjust so that I get a nice 90 degree angle Woo. here. And there's warrior one. So we're going to hold this for a couple more breaths. Two. And one. And now I'm going to take this right arm and turn, but I have to adjust my feet a little bit. I need to bring my right leg back some. And oops, I'm still a little short here on the mat. There. So again, I'm going to move so that I have a 90 degree angle here. My hips and shoulders are stacked. A big mistake that I see beginners make in this pose is they'll lean this way. Mm -mm, we're right here. And the gaze goes over this front middle finger. Warrior two. So this is a hip opener. So imagine your hips are tucked, but you're opening them this way. So then you just see what you can relax in the pose. And one more big breath. Great. Now palms come together and step the feet together as best you can. And now I'm going to turn so I can show you this from, actually, I'm going to do it from the front. I really like this new space so I can move around and demonstrate better. I need a big round mat. <laughs> Anybody want to donate some money so I can have a big round mat? That would be awesome. All right, here we go. So we step the right foot back before breathe in. We're going to step the left foot back. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Hips come forward and they're tucked. And now I'm going to find that 90 degree angle with my ankle and knee in the front, and boom. Warrior one, ta-da! This pose takes a while to um, really physically understand and adapt to. And breathe, two, and one. I've got a creak in my door, did you hear that? And breathe in, this time the left leg, I'm adjusting my feet, tucking the hips, and gaze is over my right middle finger this time. Breathe. Oops, you want this knee to go towards the little toe side of the foot. So we're opening up the hips. Two more. One more. Big breath in. And step it up. All right, beautiful. Okay, so those are the standing poses we're going to do today. And now we come into Malasana. So the way that I, and I think this is a great pose because uh, squatting is so important for us uh, in our movement to, to be able to continue to do that. So it's good to practice it a lot. Okay, so the toes spill over the sides of the mat. That's how I understand what distance. Palms come to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, the elbows come to the thighs and press your hands together. So we're opening the hip. You want to lift the heart up. And I'm just going to show you from the side what this looks like, okay? So a lot of people make the mistake of doing this. You want to be up nice and tall, opening the heart. Okay, now go ahead and come down. So we'll go um, into the forward fold. So up to this point, 
you've been, we've been forward folding over bent legs. I mean, last week I said, okay, you can move your legs forward if you want. Excuse me, my screen just went out. Oh man, technology. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yep, we're still going. Yay! Okay, so we were here. So this week you can you can come here. You can still be up here. You just need to respect your own lower back. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my knees um, long on the floor. So advanced beginners often can can do this. We'll sit up nice and tall, breathe in, lift up, exhale, and you just go to the place where you feel something and your back is flat. And breathe here, two breaths. And if you have bent legs, you're, you're doing the bent leg, you can go ahead and fold all the way forward. And then, But if you're trying a straight leg, breathe in here, lengthen the spine, exhale, Go ahead and fold. Now the key to this is just to let go, relax, let your head be heavy, and as you breathe, your body will lengthen at its own pace and come down. So you breathe in and you extend the spine and you exhale and you just sink down. Okay? Breathe. One more big breath, and exhale, and then come very slowly. You come up out of the forward fold nice and slow. Okay, great. So now we'll have a twist. So I'm going to start with the right leg. So bringing the right leg, the left leg is extended. The calf is pressing into the floor. Crossing the right leg over and wrapping the right arm around. Breathe in, lift up, exhale, twist. So again, this is the beginner level of the twist. You might want to start experimenting with taking your elbow to the outside of the knee. Remember to breathe. That's three, two, and one. Big breath in, exhale, unwind. Okay, other direction. I'm just turning, you don't have to. I'm just turning so I won't have my back to the camera. So this time the right leg is extended, the left leg comes across. The right arm wraps around, left fingers come forward. We're still facing forward here. Breathe in, lift up, exhale is when you come into the twist. And again, experimenting here with the elbow out and breathe. Two more, two, and one. Big inhale, exhale, unwind. Okay, awesome. So now um, we've done the forward fold, the twist, the balancing pose. Now we have the um, heart opener pose or the back bend as it's commonly called. So last week we started on a bridge. I'm going to move up this way because now I'm just getting closer. Whoops. Um, so we're going to do the bridge with the block. And last week we had the block turned this, this way. This week we're going to move it up. So, preparing for bridge, sitting up nice and tall, breathe in on the exhalation, excuse me, coming down one vertebra at a time, 
leaving your feet right where they are. Make it uniform. Okay. If you can, keep working on it. I just forgot my block. <laughs> All right. So the heels come towards the glutes. We don't, we always look directly up in this pose. Press the feet into the floor to lift the hips. And then you're going to take your block and place it in the small of the back. Now, if this is too much for you, turn it, turn your block the other way. Okay? The uh, shoulders are tucked. And just breathe and let your body get used to kind of being in this position. This is a great way to help counter a lot of sitting. So if you've been sitting a lot today, like I have, <laughs> this is a really great um, way to help relax the, the compressed front muscles of the body to help them stretch back out. Okay, so you may not need the block to do this. So um, for those of you who are not using the block, you come into this pose the exact same way, except you're going to tuck your shoulders. And maybe you just press your hands into the floor. Maybe you find your heels. Maybe you can interlace your fingers. You press the arms to the floor and press the hips up. And there's the back end. Yay! And breathe in, exhale, release. And so if you have a block, go ahead and remove the block. Bring the knees in towards the chest and rock from side to side, just to massage the lower back a little bit. Okay, from here, um, we're going to start, because you're now at the advanced beginner level, preparing for headstand. So we're not going to do headstands. We're just going to prepare for headstands. And then, oh, hey, yep, that's what we're going to do. No. Yes. Shoot. <laughs> Let's do it. So the way we begin to do that is to uh, find your elbows with your hands and bring your arms straight out in front of you. And then turn up on your toes and lift your glutes up in the air. So this is the dolphin pose. And you walk your feet up a little bit, breathe in and send your nose between your thumbs and exhale your elbows, your nose comes between your elbows. So breathe in and out, in and out. And you may only be able to do a couple of these and that's fine. When you're ready, come down and come into child's pose. Big deep breaths here. So now you've had your introduction to the dolphin. That is very good in the advanced beginner. And then we come into um, the legs up pose. And we'll also start working on um, next week on building blocks to shoulder stand. So, coming down and pressing the feet in the floor. This time the block will be flat underneath the sacrum. Palms turn up and we lift the legs up. And I think last week I showed you how to do this against the wall. So I'm going to make a separate video of how to get into legs up. Um, uh, next to the wall. So look for that on my YouTube channel, Mary Burris of Ball and Cactus. So this is a rejuvenating pose, legs up. So when you start to feel tired in the afternoon, instead of going for a sugary treat or caffeine, you can just put your legs up instead for about five minutes. A nice healthy alternative to sweets or caffeine.
So legs up is the next to the last pose that we practice, and you can continue to stay up in this for up to 15 minutes, so it's totally fine. Just for the sake of brevity for our purposes, I'm going to come out of the pose and practice the twist in preparation for Shavasana. So to twist, the arms come out to the side with the palms facing down, so like a T-shape. And then the knees come in towards the torso. Big breath in. Exhale, let the knees drop to the left, and the gaze goes over the right shoulder. You can straighten this leg out if you want, or you can assist it down with your left arm. Ah, just such a nice, relaxing pose. Just feels really good. And big breath in. You can stay there longer if you want to. Um, you can always pause this. Exhale, let the knees drop to the right and the gaze goes over the left shoulder this time. Or wherever's the opposite. Keep breathing, relaxing. And then breathe in, let the knees come to center. Wrap your arms around your legs as you exhale. And then inhale here. Exhale, let your forehead come to your knees and make yourself a tiny little ball. And then inhale, let the Head come down, let the arms come down to your sides and your palms face up. Let your feet flop out to the sides. Gently turn your head to the left and inhale to center, exhale. Turn your head to the right. Inhale to center. Ah, now you're ready for Shavasana. So Shavasana is the resting pose. Just let everything go. Melt into the floor. Take big breath in. Hold that breath. And when you exhale it, exhale it slowly through the mouth. And just relax. Relax all of the muscles in the body and let your mind come to a place of peacefulness. And feel free to stay in this place of peaceful bliss for up to 20 minutes. For just the purposes of this video, I'm going to come out of the Shavasana. But Feel free to stay in and roll to one side and press up very slowly. And that's going to be our advanced beginner practice. So namaste. And next week we'll begin an intermediate practice. So very exciting. Thank you all for watching and participating in this. And Stay safe and sane and um, love to everyone. Thank you for watching. Namaste.